so the story that I am talking about today is um, a story that takes place in a uh, what they call a faraway place called the land of milk and honey. I don't know if any of you've ever heard of that. It's also known as Israel. They call it the land of milk and honey because it's abundant. There's a lot of stuff that they that they're able to produce there. And the story that I'm talking about today is about um, some ladies who actually grow their own food. So something really, really important is happening to the people who are from there right now. Um, they it's the Jewish holiday of Passover. And on the last night of Passover, there's a big, big, big meal called the Seder dinner. And Christians call that the pass, uh, the last day of Passover, Monday, Thursday. That's when Jesus would have had his last supper before Easter. So I thought this was a really good time to read this story because a lot is happening in the land of Israel right now. So I thought I would read this story about a Jewish woman and her best friend, who's actually a Muslim woman, they all, they both live in Israel and they both mm. practice different religions, but that's okay because they respect each other and they care about each other no matter what, no matter what their differences are. So this story is called Yaffa and Fatima, Shalom, Shalam, and they say peace in different ways. Okay, so Yaffa is Jewish and Fatima is Muslim. Yaffa is wearing blue. So you'll see it's like a symbolism. So anytime you see somebody in blue, it represents the Jewish, the Jewish woman. And anytime you see something in red, it represents our Muslim friend. Okay, oh, let's see. Got one more friend coming in. Come on. Well, if you also, if you think back about our Hanukkah, celebrations we had in class yeah the games the games were blue the candles were blue yes. the trays yeah. were blue it represent yes. it's it's definitely very representative of their kind of their um of their culture right yeah okay all righty everybody let's see wow look at how beautiful that countryside is and all the different reds and blues you see. In a beautiful land called the land of milk and honey, there lived two neighbors. One was named Yaffa and the other was named Fatima. See in their farms, they live very close together. Yaffa and Fatima each owned a beautiful date grove. During the week, they both worked very hard gathering their dates. On most days, Yaffa and Fatima sold all their dates at the market and were able to buy plenty of tasty food to eat, which they often shared. Yaffa loved Fatima's shawarma, and Fatima loved Yaffa's schnitzel. So shawarma is like a, um, a marinated meat, and schnitzel is a breaded kind of meat. Yaffa prayed in the synagogue, and Fatima prayed in the mosque. These are their holy, where they worship, their holy places. They both loved God, and they both loved to follow God's ways. Yaffa would read from her Siddhar in the morning, and Fatima would read from her Quran in the morning. Yaffa fasted on Yom Kippur, and Fatima fasted on Ramadan. So they're very, very similar, right? They have very similar traditions. Fatima celebrated it, and Yaffa celebrated Passover, which we were talking about, right? That just happened. When Yaffa saw Fatima, she would wave and call, Shalom, peace. And when Fatima saw Yaffa, she would wave and call, Salam, peace. They are waving to each other. One year, there was very little rain. Fatima and Yaffa had very few dates to eat or to sell at the market. See, kind of like going to the grocery store right now. <laughs> Not a lot of things. <laughs> so we have to be nice and share, right? Yaffa lay awake at night and she was worried. Maybe my friend Fatima is hungry, thought Yaffa. Fatima lay awake at night. She was worried. Perhaps Yaffa didn't have enough to eat today, thought Fatima. 
Something I want to note about this is, did you notice they were wearing head coverings before? And when they're sleeping, they're not wearing their head coverings. I just thought that was interesting. Fatima placed a basket of dates on her donkey. Then she took them to Yafa's house. She poured the dates into a basket on Yafa's porch. So she's sharing with her friend. Meanwhile, Yafa collected a basket of dates, placed it on her donkey, and carried it to Fatima's house. She poured the dates into a basket on Fatima's porch. See? The two neighbors quietly made their way back home, feeling happy. I really liked this picture because you can see them. They're both walking back to their homes at the same time. They were doing something nice for each other at the very same time. In the morning when Yafa walked onto her porch, to her great surprise, she saw her basket full of dates. Goodness, I have so many dates. I will take more to Fatima tonight. And meanwhile, Fatima walked out onto her porch and was just as surprised. Goodness, I have more dates than I thought. I will take some more to Yafa tonight. Oh my gosh, they are so silly. Have you ever done something funny like this with your best friend? Where you're trying to do something nice and they're trying to do something nice for you? Oh my goodness, so silly, so silly. That night, both Yafa and Fatima loaded their donkeys with dates and set off toward each other's homes. They met just where their fields came together. Fatima looked at Yafa and Yafa looked at Fatima. The two friends hugged each other and laughed. Shalom, said Yafa. Salam, said Fatima. Thank you for thinking of me, said Yafa. Thank you for thinking of me too, said Fatima. Together they returned to Yafa's house to share a meal of dates and tea. I really like that story because I think it's nice to think about things that you can share with your friends or something nice that you can do for them, right? It was good artwork. Nice yes, artwork. I love that book. So let's see, what time is it? All right, I have Love one so question. Much. I have one question for everybody. So we will go through my little list here and see. All right. So my question for you all today is, what is one nice thing that someone else has done for you this week? <laughs> 